Hello everyone. This is the unboxing video for the Hunter SE. Getting the Hunter SE out of its crate is actually very simple. This platform rolls while powered off. So if you want to, you can actually just physically grab the robot and pull it out. That works just fine. Or you can drive it out like you do with the other chassis. So we've already opened it up. We've taken all the stuffing out, put the ramp down, and we have our controller out. So the batteries are already in. They should be when you receive the robot. If not, make sure you get some AA batteries inside. And to turn the controller on, you're gonna first make sure all your switches are in the up position and then hold both the power buttons down and you'll hear a tune and see the LCD turn on. You also need to turn your robot on. So go ahead and toggle your power switch on. You'll hear another signal. And then your second switch needs to be moved into the center position. That turns on the controller talking to the robot. And after this, we can just drive it out. Now, anytime you drive a robot out of a crate, you're gonna always wanna make sure your crate is up against a wall or something sturdy, or at least have people holding on to it on the sides, because the robot is gonna try and push the crate away. So we have it up against the wall, and I can just go ahead and drive it out of the crate. And that's it. That's all you need to do to get your robot out so that you can start working on it. Swapping the battery out on the Hunter SE is extremely simple and easy. It's one of the benefits to this chassis is that you have a door on the back for taking your batteries in and out, whereas other robotic platforms, you'll have to unscrew a lot of things to get your battery in and out. So on this one, if you need to replace your battery, just go ahead and open the gate on the back and you're gonna have three cables on it. You're gonna go ahead and just separate all three cables. They are nice and tight for a good fit. Once those three are off, grab your handle and just pull your battery out. Try not to drop it on the floor like I just did. And that's all you do to take it out. To put the battery back in, we just do the reverse of what we did to take it out. So we're gonna get our cables out of the way, insert it into the back of the robot, push it in, and then reconnect our cables. You're gonna have a data cable, and you're gonna have two power cables. Once those are all connected, go ahead and tuck your cables in underneath the handle and close your flap. And you're gonna wanna push it nice and tight and then they should just clip right in. And that's all it takes to replace the battery in a Hunter SC. To charge your Hunter SC, it's very simple. We're just gonna plug it into the back on the charger port. So we've already plugged in our charger. Obviously make sure your robot is off. And this is your charging port on the left here. And you're just gonna take your connector with your clip to the right, push it on, you'll hear it clip. And on your charger, you're gonna see that it turns red while it's charging, and when it's finished, this will turn to green, and then go ahead and disconnect it. 